So this is the optimization project of a pyramid. We were given a pyramid and then like the different roundings, but then we have to find the optimization, which is the exact variables and values. So first we had to find the volume. And to find the volume, we had to use two different equations. So for option B, they gave us an area of 858.9 centimeters squared. So using the, so using the um, formulas of A equals 2xh, and h equals the square root of the apophthalm squared plus the y squared, we were able to find a new equation. So through the combination of these two different formulas, we were able to find a new formula for the overall volume. So using the uh, equation of a equals 2xh and h equals the square root of the apophthalm squared plus y squared, we were able to combine them. So if you look here, we combine uh, or we transition from a equals 2xh to h equals a over 2x, and that was the first uh, formula. And the second formula, we use h. So h equals the square root of the apophthalm squared plus y squared ultimately turned out to be y equals the square root of h squared minus x squared over 4. And this is the second formula. So using these two formulas, we decided to plug in h over here where the y, um, vary, where the y formula was. So we ended up getting y equals the square root of a over 2x squared minus x squared over 4. And that ultimately were, uh, was able to be plugged into the volume formula. So this is the third formula that we used, volume equals one third x squared uh, times y. And using this formula, we were able to plug in y as this formula. So then we had the volume equals one third x squared, square root of 858.9 over two x squared minus x squared over four. And using this, uh, using this volume formula, we were able to plug in different values and ultimately find um, the simplified version of the volume formula, which ended up being 1 6 times um, 858.9 squared times x squared minus x to the power of 6. And then ultimately, we, tr we transition from this square root to a parentheses to the power of 1 half. So now we find the derivative. So using that formula, we found the derivative and ultimately ended up with this equation which is 2x times 858.9 squared minus 3x to the power of 4 equals 0. So then using these two different values, we were able to find different values of 0. So we had this value of 0, and then we had this one. So 2x equals 0 is obviously not a solution. But then using the other part, which is 858.9 to the power of 2 minus 3x to the power of 4, we were able to find 858.9 squared minus 3x to the power of 4 as x equals uh, the fourth root of 858.9 squared over 3 and ultimately that gave us the uh, that gave us the value of x equals 22.26 centimeters so after that we decided to go up to a different uh, to the uh, back to the equations that we had and then plug in what we have now so using the a equals 2xh formula we were able to plug in the x that we got so then a equals 858.9 as they gave us equals 2 times 22.26 times h. And then we were able to isolate h as 858.9 over 2 times 22.26, which ultimately equals to 19.29 centimeters. And that gave us our h. Finally, we come over here where we found the apophthalm, which is x over 2. So then we plugged in our x that we found using the derivative, and we had 22.26 over 2 equals 11.13 centimeters. And then we finally found our h again. So then we had we used the h formula to ultimately find the y, which is h equals the square root of an apophthalm squared plus y squared, and we were able to plug in the values that we got from previous equations. And it ultimately led up to this point where we got 258.22 equals y squared. We square rooted that, and we got 15.75 centimeters. So then we took our volume formula and we combined all the variables that we were able to find through the different um, adding and subtracting of different equations and derivatives. And we found that the volume equals to 1 sixth of times uh, 858.9 squared and then the x squared and then minus x6. So we took that volume formula again, we plugged in all of these different values and we ended up getting the volume which is 2,602.77 centimeters squared. And then we were able to find the edge or the side. And using this equation of the square root of x over 2 squared plus h squared, we were able to get the value of 22.27 centimeters. I just want to make a quick comment. This squared is supposed to be cubed. Maria, could you do <laughs> me the honor of writing three? So the volume Thank is actually 2,602.77 centimeters cubed. Thank you. So as we stated in our previous video, now these variables and values make sense. A equals to 
x is equal to 22.26, y 15.75, h 19.29, s 22.27, and then y over a, which is ultimately the y is the inside height of the triangle, and then a is the apothem, so the apothem is kind of like the radius of a square, and then so using this equation we have the square root of 2. And then the graph, so what I will explain now is the alpha, beta, and gamma. So the alpha is ultimately um, the op opposite over adjacent. So, uh, or no, uh, alpha is ultimately found right here between the H, the, the height of the triangle, and then the apothem. And then also the Y, which is the inside height of the, of the triangle, or of the pyramid, sorry. And so to find alpha, we have to get the tan of alpha, which is the opposite over adjacent. So to find alpha, you can see here that we had to get the y over the apothem. And we have this value right here, and we were able to plug in the values that we got over there. And ultimately, it equaled to this equation, which equal to this value of 54.75. Then we moved on to gamma, or no, um, beta. So, the, so to find beta, we had to find the tan of beta. And using this equation, 2x over, uh, 2h over x, sorry, we were able to plug in the values that we got from here, uh, from those equations. And we found ultimately that the tan of beta is 16.05. And then to find gamma, we had to find the sine of gamma. And then to find the sine of gamma, you have to do the opposite over the hypotenuse, which equals to the, uh, to the variables of y over s. And then when we uh, concluded all of the values and plugged them in, we were able to find that the sine of uh, gamma is 45.01. And so using this, we were able to plug in all of the values that we had. So from over there, from uh, all the values that we got, all the formulas, we were able to get them and then plug them in for the angles. And using the angles and the formula values, we were able to make this chart. And as you can see here, it has all of the values. So beta is 60, gamma is 45, and then alpha is 54.73. And then the overall volume, as we stated before, is 2,602.775 centimeters cubed. So, our optimized pyramid, as you can see, has all of these different values for A, X, Y, H, S, Y over H, gamma, beta, and alpha, as well as the volume. But in comparison to the Great Pyramid, or the one before, the one that is not optimized, you can see how it has a deviation of 3.416 for the X, which is also the side. So um, this one is slightly larger than the optimized pyramid because the optimized pyramid includes a really more specific kind of values with the formulas that we used. And so you can see the different deviations from the great pyramid to the optimized. So for the optimized pyramid for Y, you can see there's a subtract 6.8.5 value. And then for H, you subtract a 3.307 value. For S, you subtract a 1.580 value. And then for y over 5, you also have a subtract 9.926 value. For alpha, you have a negative 5.239 value. And then for beta, you have a negative 2.823 value. For gamma, you have a negative 6.644 value. And for volume, you have an ultimately negative uh, 0.372 volume. And so that's pretty much it, but you can see that the overall volume makes sense because a lot of the numbers are, are things that we're subtracting from the Great Pyramid versus the Optimized Pyramid. So the volume, as you can see here, is obviously um, the right one that we have for Optimized versus the Great Pyramid because of all the different values kind of leading up to that point. That's it, thank you.